all good and well having these things. If you are in the middle of nowhere and you can't find anyone to jump you, what are you going to do? You're going to ring the breakdown. What if there was a way of never needing them ever again? And not having to rely on jump starts, ringing someone to come and start the van or your car or anything, whatever. There is a way. You can fit a small solar panel onto the roof that will charge your van battery. And that's exactly what we are going to do today. We're going to fit a small solar panel onto the roof so it charges the van battery. Right, so first of all, the thing we need to do is we need to extend the wire on the panel because I know wire is not long enough, is it? Let's get some soldering done. That will give us enough wire and it's the right gauge as well for the actual solar panel because it's only small but that will run right the way down the body inside right the way through to the front of the battery but we need to mount some brackets onto the solar panel so we can fix it down to the roof and to do that we're going to use m6 rivet nuts now basically you drill a hole in the panel you pop the rivet nut in you have a tool that goes in, you pump it, and it squishes this part up. So then you've got a thread in there and you can bolt right through. So we're gonna put our rivet nuts right there, which is just in the right location because there's a hole on this side as well. So we're gonna put one there, one the other end, and then exactly the same on the other side, drill the hole, put the rivet nut in, then we'll squeeze it tight, and then we can attach these to a bracket. So make sure that your drill bit is the same size as the rivet nut so when you put it in it will be a nice snug fit. The rivet nuts actually go onto this. What you do is you open it up like that. On the end there's a thread. You take your rivet nut and you screw it on. You then put that piece in the hole and you push them together. That then pulls this in and squishes it. Squishes. I love that word. Let's get them in and squished in. So now we've got the rivet nuts in, what that allows us to do is to put a bracket in, take an M6 bolt, and we can just bolt it in there. No messing around with nuts and bolts underneath, it just makes sense. Right, let's do the other side. So we're going to use these L brackets, which is just going to go on there like that. Then it's going to bolt down to the roof, and jobs are good. Wire it down to the solar controller, then wire it to the battery. One, two, I know, two handed, impressive. So there we go. Now we can put it up on the roof. Right, so we're gonna mount the panel right on the roof there. Right, 
Right, so when I've drilled the holes, and then I'm gonna stick some of this stuff on it just to seal the actual rivet nut in the hole so it's all leak proof. Right, I've decided to stick the um, solar controller just here, so now it's just a case of wiring it up. Both the cables are in for the actual panel itself. Now these ones are going to go to the battery, but first of all we're just going to check on what type of voltage is coming off that little solar panel. That little solar panel is pulling off 21 volts. Right, so I brought the cable down through the roof, all along the top, and I've got it to this section here. We're going to run it on the inside, down, through the gutter way, and then up through a grommet in the engine, and then wire it into the battery. And also, this end, after going through the solar controller, is putting out 13.4 volts. Well enough to keep the battery charged in the van while she's sitting there doing nothing. Right, so there's a grommet in the engine bay and I'm gonna see if I can pull the wire through there, which will make life a lot easier. Right, so we've got the cable all the way through to the engine bay and I'm just gonna solder some ends on them using my little lexicon solder iron. If you wanna find out all about this, card up there, wonderful little tool. So now we've got them on, it's time to actually connect it up to the battery. Right, so that's the earth and the positive connectors. Let's go and have a look on the controller and see what's going on. Right, so you can see off the solar controller panel, it's putting in 13 volts into the battery right now. Yeah, it's 13 volts. It's not a great deal, but there's no sun right now. It's going, it's like, seven o'clock at night so all the sun that we've missed in the daytime has gone but 13 volts to be put into a battery right now which is a 12 volt that's pretty good it will be putting out 14.4 14.8 volts into the battery in the sun which will do for me i left the solar panel overnight to see what would happen in the morning when i got up the van battery is on 13.2 volts 13.2 volts that is normally on 12.4 that's a massive bonus and it's free as well like totally free yeah there's an initial cost but we're now pulling power off the sun into the battery for nothing before if you on comments why didn't you just connect your existing solar panel up to the battery with a different type of charge relay I didn't want to basically if you connect both your leisure batteries and your van starting battery up to the one system you have to rely on the one system so if something happens if a cable breaks if a solar panel goes down if a charge relay breaks if a charge controller breaks if anything breaks you can't have screwed then you've got two batteries that are not getting charged. With this simple setup with minimal cost, I've now got two separate solar systems fan, and then a smaller system, which is, you know, a low grade, just run of the mill, everyday solar system, charging the actual van battery. So that's why I decided to go for two systems. So if you have found this mildly entertaining, or even educational well give us a thumbs up leave us some comments in the comment section below would you go with a double system or a single system i would be quite interested to see how many people want to go with whatever system you know and don't forget down there there's a subscription button just click it it costs you nothing like nothing at all you know that was very sort of broadway wasn't it Jazz hands.
cost you nothing. I'll stop that. Right, buy yourself a van, get out there. There's a big world. Go and explore it, and whatever you do, do it well.